A siren is the most powerful female seductress of them all. It's a woman that has very powerful kind of sexual energy, but also energy in general. There's a slight masculine touch to them. It's kind of powerful, like a Cleopatra or a Marilyn Monroe. Men are very visual creatures. We judge things by how they look, and they know how to create this appearance that's almost like mythic, very powerful, theatrical. And a true siren, there's not a man on the planet who could resist a true siren. Let's go with y'all boys. Okay, so the title of this video is going to be See More Attention Will Give You Movie Star Energy, Attract More Women Easy, right? Easy, easy, easy. Let me let me break down this game to you. This is, I want y'all to understand this is certain knowledge that don't nobody know about. They don't know about psychology. They don't know about how even see more attention works, right? So I want to break down the reasoning why a lot of women, you get this woman attention, all of this shit that goes on within see more attention. I want to break it down to you, right? Our energy is very potent. Who you are and your aura and how you move and how you look and how you present and carry yourself means a lot. But you can enhance it especially on seamer attention because your energy is potent if you're holding on to your seed the shit that literally makes babies if you're holding on to this for such a long time your energy and your aura and your who you are will speak louder than anything it will speak the moment you walk into the room people will look at you right and like i said it's especially it, it gets enhanced especially how you present yourself right for instance, I, I'm going to break down a whole lot of this game, right? But for instance, right, I'm wearing a chain, right? A lot of people would just say, yeah, he's wearing a necklace or he's wearing a chain. But in the opposite sex of women, they are going to look at the chain and see how I present myself and how I look, right? I got my hair cut. You feel me? I look nice. I got some earrings. They gl they dance. You know, it's a, it, they glisten a lot. of It catches the woman's eye. For another man, you look at a guy, yeah, he got a chain on. But for a woman, it kind of sparks something into them like oh he got a chain you know he presents himself well he got his skin clear you know he takes care of himself you know things like that right so this bro this easily gives you movie star energy and attracts women so much easier than anything that i've ever like had to do before like when you're on retention your aura by default the things that surround your body is enhanced it's bigger and greater but for a lot of people they don't present themselves in a certain way of makes them see higher and greater. I, the aura that I truly believe in who I am, I believe I am great. So you will feel that the moment I walk in the room. You will feel that when I walk past you or whatever, or even how I, like, what I truly believe in is what you will feel and your confidence levels will feel that and your aura will speak that, right? So for people who are confident, you automatically see them. They stand out. You feel me? Especially... You know, they they feel they, they stand out amongst a lot of other people because everyone's insecure. Everyone's scared of the world. Everyone is just like shy and timid. And I'm the exact opposite of that. When you see someone who is the exact opposite of that, who walks with their head high and their shoulders back and is very confident and bro, they just presents themselves in such a masculine frame. The men will look at you as a threat and the woman will look at you as like, yo, who is that? You don't even have to be like the most handsome guy in the world. You don't have, you can be an ugly guy and get this game to work for you. you. It really can because masculinity is different. You can't lose when you're masculine at all. Like in any realm of this world, you cannot lose when you're a masculine man. When you're stronger than most guys, you're most likely not going to lose. You know, de depending if that's physical force or just anything. If you want to take it from the woman's eyes point of view, they want a guy who can protect. So it's no brainer that a guy who is stronger is obviously going to be able to protect her in certain aspects of this world. Of course, he's going to see that as like, ding, ding, ding. That's a real man. Masculinity will never fail you. Never. Even if in the most stupidest things, you know, when a woman says, oh, I like a, a dad bod. In all reality, when she says, I like a dad bod, she's not talking about you fat video gamers whose belly's out to here. She's talking about a guy who's basically just on a bulk who's over 15% body fat, who's like at 20% body fat. If you want to look that up, you can search it up. 15% body fat, it's kind of like where I'm at right now. I'm like ending my bulk and, you know, I'm a little bit more beefier with all my like upper body. You feel me? So that's like the dad bod she's explaining. That's, it's not you fat, disgusting guys, you know, because 
if you think about it from an aspect of like when i walk onto the beach i'm at a good body fat when i get on to summertime i, tr I like to stay between 10 to 12 so i'm more ripped you know i like to look good so that automatically is different than a guy who's always fat or who's skinny because at the at the beach you'll see thousands of dad bots why don't they get chosen you'll see thousands of dad bots this is where all of that women shit become like it goes out the window you go to the beach thousands of dad bots you go to the beach thousands of skinny guys but when you see a guy who's masculine who takes on the world who's very confident and has a nice physique she's running to that guy every single time don't let that phase you right so like when i talk about movie star energy right it's literally something that people see you in awe of. Like, they're looking at you like somebody that they are, like, looking up to. Like, damn, who is that? That's the energy that you will get. But you have to present yourself in a good manner, right? Because I don't care how good or how big your aura that you develop is. No one, like, like for instance, of the opposite sex, because this is what we're mostly going to be talking about, right? The opposite sex is a woman. Do you think like women, like they have a lot of guys in their phones, they're getting a lot of attention and, you know, I'm talking about beautiful women. I don't really care about like, you know, uglier women because you shouldn't want a uglier woman like a girl. You shouldn't. So other beautiful women have a lot of guys in their phones. They're getting hit on, you know, I'm talking about good looking women, seven, eight, nine out of tens, 10 out of tens. You don't think the guys are sweating them? It's, it's, a, it's what it comes with it, right? So you have to separate yourself. If you, no matter how, you're, you could be on a thousand days of retention. I don't give a fuck. If you don't present yourself in a nice manner, if you're wearing neon, a neon shirt with red pants and green shoes, like, or whatever, it's, it's goofy. Like, it's like, she's going to look at you like, you know, your aura, you, you present yourself like a little kid. So you're going to be seen as a little kid. But when you walk and you present yourself like a man, that it's a ding 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 she goes for that every time because when i walk in the spot they all look at me bro like i want you to understand men and women will look at you i am a threat to guys whether you believe me or not i am a threat to guys because when i walk in bro i'm serious like if i walk into the gym i'm a killer i do the gym shit i do this bro that's what i do you know so i take care of myself i lift heavy weights i've trained boxing and shit like that i love this shit but for other guys I am very confident. Most guys aren't confident. I want you to understand, even the guys at the gym, they could be the biggest mass monsters in the world. They still aren't confident of themselves, bro. They aren't. They're very insecure. And, you know, starting the gym is very, it like, starts from a, a, a part of insecurity. But they're not confident of themselves. They're still, like, like, there's a reason why a lot of guys who go to the gym, they still get no women. Because, yeah, you could have the most biggest monster body, but you have no confidence. You don't feel that word. You don't feel like this world is yours. So nobody gives a fuck. Like if you feel like, oh yeah, I'm the side character of this movie, right? The movie is you. You are the main character. This is your life. This is your realm. This world is yours. Whether you think that's narcissistic or not, I don't give a fuck because I'm the main character of this. This is my world. This town, this city that I stay in, this is my shit. I don't give a fuck. I am a king. I see myself as higher than most people. So, like, I am confident. I am great in what I do. I love to be confident. I'm confident in myself. I know myself. I learn myself. I know who I am. I will be great. So when you truly believe in what you stand on, other people will feel that shit no matter what. Women are going to feel it. Guys are going to feel it. And it all, like, all of that feelings comes from your aura and who you are. Because when you're confident, you know this world is yours. When you walk with your head held high and your chest up and you're, you walk in a room and you, do, you command space, like you, wherever you go, eyes are looking at you, like space is like, you know, you take up space. This is your shit. This is my shit. I walk into the gym. This is my shit now. You feel me? Like, and this might seem as narcissistic. You might, oh, he's too, his ego or he's cocky. Guess what? I really want you to understand. The women don't give a fuck about the people who are all shy. and They want the guy who is higher because I see myself as a king. I want to become something so great. So this feels it in my aura when I'm doing everything I'm supposed to do. I hit the gym. I'm on retention. I have, bro, I think I'm on like 35 days or 36, 37 days, whatever. About to be 40, probably 40. I don't even count the days. You see, you see what I'm saying? Like this shit is different. I'm focused on my YouTube shit. I'm giving you these this gem, this game that I'm going to break down to you, bro. But, like, this movie star energy is so different. And I want to get into the shit where I'm going to break down the psychology and the science. So if you don't stick for that, that's tough. But 
a quick little story, bro. Just the other day, right? I went on a date with this girl, right? And she, you know, I like her and everything like that. You know, I'm still testing the waters. I'm trying to see what's going on, you know, because, you know, I'm one of the greats. So, you know, I can't just have some regular shit around me, right? <laughs> you might think I'm fucking crazy, but, you know, so we go to the mall, right? And cool, we're vibing, you know, we're walking next to each other, everything like that. She's pretty, right? And this is going to be some more game I'm going to break for your brain real fast. When you have a beautiful woman or a girl next to you that looks really good and, you know, you're walking with them. And most other women won't even know this shit, right? But it could be like your sisters. It could be, you know, your cousin, whatever. If they look good, you know, more times than not, a girl's going to think like that's his, you know, that's his girlfriend. Like, like by default, other women around the way will look at you and like stare at you. It's crazy. The, like the amount of female attraction that you get is so fucking real. Especially when you're confident and you own the spot. Like, yeah, I walk in this bitch. This is my spot now. Bro, all of them look, bro. The girl I was getting to know was getting mad at the amount of women that were looking at me, right? And then her eyes, it's like, yeah, don't play. This guy's something different. So it's a benefit for me. But all the other women are actually looking at me. But like I said, this is no normal shit for me. Like, this is normal shit. For other guys, I want y'all to experience this type of shit. But I'm going to break down the knowledge. Because most guys don't get looks from other women, right? And I feel bad for a lot of guys because their options aren't there. You, I can have a lot of options if I want to, but I'm so focused on my shit. I don't give, I don't even care to entertain right now. I don't have enough time for it. I'm so focused on this shit. It's crazy, right? On my YouTube, my gym, my health, all sorts of things. I'm so locked the fuck in. It's crazy. But we're walking through the mall. And I'm telling you, bitches are breaking their neck. Like, like the women are double backing. Like they looking at me like like triple times bro and the girl next to me like the girl i'm talking to is getting mad like she's like damn what the fuck is going on i swear to you on my life we was just discussing it too yesterday like she she brought it up on a conversation like damn those girls there was a lot of girls breaking their neck on you bro and you will experience this shit especially when you got beautiful women i remember even back then when i was with my ex bro I swear to you, my ex was, like, she looked good in the room. The girl that I'm talking to, as of right now, she looked good, too. Like, I don't go for no ugly shit. So, but back then, I'm walking with my ex, bitch, right? Like, I'm walking with my ex, shorty, bro. Crazy shit, crazy shit. And I'm in line. We getting boba because ex-girl loved boba. So, we was getting boba on some shit. And the girl who was working, the like, behind the counter... You know, she, we're, I'm basically ordering, and this it's a busy-ass mall. It's a busy-ass day. There's a big-ass line. You know, it was only, like, two people working at that stand, too, right? And the girl was pretty behind the... I ain't gonna lie. The girl was pretty, but, you know, I got a girlfriend, so I don't really give a fuck about other hoes, but basically, I'm ordering, right? I don't even get to say what I want. The girl's like, damn, you look good. I'm like, what the fuck? Bro, my girlfriend, my ex-girlfriend was right next to me, bro. The bitch started, my, my ex-girl started tweaking. What the fuck you mean? Like, you know, she started geeking, tweaking. I'm like, oh, here we go. Like, what the fuck, bro? Like, because, bro, that bitch had no filter. She didn't give a fuck, bro. She had no filter at all, bro. The girl behind the counter that I'm ordering from. I didn't even get to finish my sentence. She said, damn, you look mad good. Like, in awe of me. And my ex-bitch. He's getting mad. She talking shit now. Yada, yada, yada. I'm like, all right, we out. Come on, bro. We out. I even get the ball, but we was gone, bro. Straight from the thing. Because I'm like, bro, there ain't no way. Like, bro, that's that's out of pocket shit. Like, you know, bitch, some bitches don't give a fuck if you got a girlfriend or not. Like I said the other day, there was, if I could say at least 12. Let, let's say that at least 12. Everywhere I walk, bro, they're double back and they looking at me. I'm looking at them in their eyes, too, because it's like, fuck. Like, why you looking at me so much? But. It's like, damn, like, they're in awe of you, bro. It's crazy, bro. So, I really want you to understand, this This women attraction shit, it's not false. But for most people, they won't experience it to the higher levels because they don't know how to present themselves. Like I said, most of you busters don't have no swag to you. You don't have no, no, no drip. Y'all don't have nothing like some, like, you know, you ain't walking through the cut on some, like, like, you got some drip. Like, you got some nice clothes on nothing. Right, because for me, even this right here, I got like a little. I'm about to hit the gym after this video. I got my little, you know, compression tees. The hoes be geeking off that shit. I got my gray sweatpants. I got my Jordans on. I got my Jordans match the the same color as my chain, so my outfit is nice, even on some cool shit. Right, so I'm gonna break down a big game for y'all. But like I said, most of y'all don't even know how to present yourself. Y'all fucking go outside with a yellow shirt, 
pink shorts and, and some like dad sandals and you expect to get women or something oh i'm gonna get all these women looking at me nobody's gonna look at you no matter how how many days you're on retention because your aura is high but it's still like man what the fuck you got going on like what you wearing bro you not you not attractive into the girl's eyes this is why i say take care of yourself bro i'm trying to get my skin to the best of the ability because that's bro pfft. They love this shit. They love when you got clear skin. They love when you got some drip. They love when you got some swag. They, they love when you got this confidence because don't nobody else got that shit. Every other dude is insecure of himself. Like, why? I learned myself. I know who I am. I, I have certain rules that I will never break. I know who I am. I'll never put a girl before this, my YouTube shit. I'll never put a girl before the gym. I'll never put a girl before my purpose. Never. And they love it. I, bro, it's weird how this shit works, right? So... Let me break it down, bro. Let me break it down, bro. So, I got the book right here. This is, if you want to learn about some fucking game, how to attract, how to seduce, this right here will help you. It's called The Art of Seduction by Robert Greene. I learned so much, but from I've read this book front to back. My favorite book I ever read because it's so fucking entertaining, too. Like, it's not even one of those books that you get bored of. He he puts uh, examples of, like, Marilyn Monroe, a bunch of people, Napoleon, all sorts of people that I like. And he puts them and gives them examples within the book, right? But first off, let me read you to this. Let me read this shit to you, bro. This right here is ultimate game, even if you're ugly. Even if you're an ugly guy, this shit will increase your aura. And women will be geeking on you, bro. Tweaking on you, bro. I can't even lie, right? So this is just like the psychology and breakdown of why they start to tweak on you, right? This is all you have to do, bro. All you have to do. Few are drawn to the person whom others avoid or neglect. People gather around those who have already attracted interest. We want what other people want. Big thing. We want what other people want, especially with women. They don't want no ugly ass, lame ass dude. Everyone can have him. That nobody wants him. The the computer nerds, nobody wants that dude. I'm sorry. The guys who are like, you know, the popular kids in high school who got all the bitches and just that and the third. All the other girls know that 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 everybody that he was a popular kid, that he was fucking all of these hoes. But they still wanted him because all the other bitches wanted him. They see him as higher. But like I said, the kid in high school, he had all the hoes. All the girls knew that he was fucking a lot of these girls in his school. They don't give a fuck. They want the best of the best. So become the best of the best. You computer game virgin type dudes, it's not good for you. It's not good for you at all. It's not playing. I don't give a fuck how much dopamine, how much you like video games. That shit lame, bro. In this real world, no girl's gonna look at the computer game virgin like, oh my god, he's... He's the best. Even if he is handsome, like, they'll go for him, but then realize, like, he's just a lame, bro. He, he could be a Chad, 10 out of 10, whatever. He play video games all day. He don't get no money. He's a lame. They don't, they gonna move on to him. Like, yeah, he, he look good and all, but he's a lame, bro. Like, real shit. Check this out. We want what other people want. To draw your victims closer and make them hungry to possess you, you must create an aura of desirability of being wanted and courted by many. Like I said, the kid in high school, the, the popular kid, they all wanted him. He created his aura. After getting a lot of women, they know he's the player. They know he's that guy. It didn't matter. It doesn't matter. They all want them. They all want him. He created the aura and the desirability. They want him. He's that guy. He's the best one in the school. So, of course, women want the best of the best. The computer gaming nerds, the losers, the guys who jerk off to porn. Nobody's going to want you, bro. You have to quit that shit. You have to really lock in on real life, bro. The guy who gets money, this is what they want. They want guys with money. They want a guy who's higher. They don't want the average guy because anybody can have the average guy. But the top guy, not everyone can have him. He's choosing the best bitches, bro. You come here. I want you. You know, he's that guy. He has the power and he has the authority to do that because he's that guy and he's deemed as that guy to women to beautiful women if beautiful women if he's getting beautiful women you don't think the average bitches are going to be tweaking on him bro they will be lusting over this guy crazy and i'm that guy <laughs> so let me go ahead right it will become a point of vanity for them to be the preferred object of your attention to win you away from a crowd of admirers it's like a game like everybody wants them Everybody wants, you know, even with, for guys, everybody kind of wants that badass bitch. She got all of these guys on her. And it comes like a game. Like, yeah, I want the baddest of the bit. I want the baddest of the baddest. It's no different for women.
They want the top of the top, the guy who makes the most money, the guy of the top food chain. They don't want the the video gamers at the bottom. They they're the they're the little fucking ants and shit. Nobody cares about them. But the lion is the guy who's basically the top of the top. They want him. They want the lion. They they don't want the the regular little deer. Nobody wants deer. Fuck deer. They want the lion, the, the top of the top. Nobody gives a fuck about ants and deers and none of that shit. They it's like a game. They want you. They want to get you. They they want the best of the best. So become the best of the best. Manufacture the illusion of popularity by surrounding yourself with members of the opposite sex, friends, former lovers, present suitors. Create triangles that stimulate rivalry and raise your value. Build a reputation that precedes you. If you have, if many have succumbed to your charms, there must be a reason. You feel me? You are different. You are that guy. You have to really get this, bro. Surround yourself with members of the opposite sex, friends, former lovers, your ex, bitches, whatever. Um... And, and present suitors, girl that you got going around. Like I said, this girl that I went out uh, to the mall with, perfect example. I got a pretty girl next to me. All the other girls are looking at me crazy, bro. Crazy, like, on some shit, which I already normally get. But I wasn't the one, like, calling it out. I wasn't saying, damn, these bitches geeking. She was the one saying, damn, why they breaking their necks, bro? Like, why she looking back? She getting mad at the other girls breaking their necks. And you are seen as higher. They, she knows that you got options, bro. They ain't gonna leave you. You are one of the best. Fuck is you to? I am one of the best. Like, real shit. I already believe that. So my confidence and my aura is already, bro, double, tripled, bro, compared to the average guy. They're not confident within themselves. I will, I believe I will be the best. I, like, one of the greatest, bro. I know it. I'm gonna get millions of dollars. I know it. It's inevitable. I am one of the best. So that speaks in my aura. You will feel that. Other guys get uh, insecure when I come through the cut, bro. I want you to understand, bro. There's so many examples that this happened with, bro. I used to work at Walmart, bro. And like I said, I look good and everything like that. But it's also how you present yourself. You must walk with your head held high and your chest up and your shoulders back. That proves that you're better than everyone. It proves just by how you walk and how you carry yourself. Bro, I used to walk through the cut. I'm working at Walmart. A lot of the girls like me at Walmart, bro. I had people coming to me like, yo, this girl likes you, this one, this one. I'm like, man, which one? I'm looking at them. I'm like, man, I don't even want them. You feel me? I am something that they crave, they want. It's all psychology. It's, it's a game almost. But I would be walking and I'm confident. I walk because I own this bitch. This is my shit. I walk into Walmart. Walmart's mine now. I don't. I own Walmart. The CEO. This, that, nah, I'm the CEO. <laughs> Real shit. Y'all don't even know how I think. Like, this is my shit now. Like, fuck you talking about. But I walk through the cup. Bro, I had coworkers tell me like, yo, you shouldn't even be here. You should be on the runway. You should be a model. I'm like, I got in that compliment a lot, especially when you're clear, your skin's clear and you got some drip, you take care of your haircuts and you look good. You're going to get that comp uh, that that type of um the those compliments easy. But bro, it's more so how I walk than I present myself. I am not like you peasants who work here and don't see themselves as higher. I am not a peasant. I'm not like you. I'm one of the best. I'm the king of this shit. I walk in. I'm the king. The peasants bow down. I'm sorry. I, I Bro. <laughs> I'm sorry. But if you put that into your game, bro, you, you're going to get the things that you want. The women, they're going to come. It's just something that comes, especially when you work hard. This confidence I've earned. I've earned all of this shit. I've been training in the gym for years now since I was a kid. I've been through so much things. I've been doing this YouTube shit for about a year and a half now. I'm going to keep going. I read all the books. I meditate. I pray to God. I get all this confidence and I eat healthy, bro. There's so many things that lead me to this confidence. You have to earn it. You can fake it for a little while, but you have to earn it overall. And it won't lie in your aura and people will see you as higher. I remember people, other guys looking at me in my eyes. And I'm looking right back at them like how I'm looking at you right now. They looking at me mad because I'll take they bitch. I swear. They are looking at me mad because they're jealous. You can't. The thing is. They could be jealous all they want. They will never come up to you and with a problem or anything. Because I'm on that too. But basically, they will look at you and be jealous and mad at you, bro. They will envy you. They will envy your confidence. They will envy everything you got going on. Because you're not a mere peasant. The king. Don't you think when a king walks by back in the day, just think about it. The king's walking through the town. The peasants, the peasants don't like the king. Why? Because he's completely different. There's only one king. This is this town, all of this, whatever, it's mine. I own this motherfucker. 
<laughs> I am the king. You see me. Yeah, he he dripped out. He looks good. Every, bro, you have to put this in your game. And the peasants will be mad. The people who are video gamers, they're going to be mad at me. Oh, you might be a video gamer. You, I used to be you. This is the thing I can talk about. I used to be a video game virgin on the game all day. And I was never jealous or envious of other people because I know I was already great even when I was a virgin. Like, it was crazy. But you'll see these people look at you because they can't earn that shit. They don't want to hit the gym five, six times out of the week. They don't want to do, They don't want to eat healthy. They don't have a physique that looks good because you earned all of this. You have to earn it, bro. And it will speak from your aura. It will talk. The women will look at you, bro. The guys are jealous, bro. It's crazy. And I'm going to get into steps of what you need to do in order to get this type of energy and things that I'm talking about, right? Another thing is our desire for another person almost always involves social considerations. We are attracted to those who are attractive to other people. Bro, when you are seen as higher, like that kid in high school who's like getting all the bitches and this, down the third, and it's popular, all that. It's like you're a celebrity. You get the movie star energy. You get that. When you walk through the cut, everyone's looking at you, bro. That's like you're you're different. No one's looking at the mere video gamer. He doesn't exist to women. But I exist. I walk through the cut like, yeah, bitch, this is my shit. And they, they they have no you have no choice but to notice me. I take up space. I'm not even the biggest of guys, bro. I'm 5'8, five, 5'9 five, with shoes on. But when I walk through the cut, my aura speaks louder than guys who are 6'4. It's like they're, they want to be small. Their shoulders are all like this, like a nerd. No, motherfucker, I walk through the color. Yeah, this is my shit. You feel me? But I'm not, I'm not like a cocky, like, dickhead. But I'm like, yeah, this is my shit now. Like, smooth. Like, I don't give a fuck. But, but when, like, it's something different, too. I'm going to keep it a beam. Like, when there's girls in your school who don't give a lot of guys, or like, uh, or in your, around your workplace or whatever, beautiful girls, obviously. I don't like ugly, you, you know, ugly girls and shit. But girls who don't give guys the, the time of day that know they value, who's just like, who's higher, who's on my level, it's so rare that you'll find. But once you find those type of women, she walks like you. She's confident, head held high, chest up. You know, she got value to herself. It is different. It's, it's like, yo, you are my level. Like, I'm a king. You're like a queen. And I'm even me. I'm drawn to that person. Because, yeah, there's a lot of women who just look good and this, that, and the third. But there's some women who look beautiful, 10 out of 10, but insecure of themselves. And they're not truly confident. I'm telling you, that truly confident aura, it's, bro, it's the most attractive thing in the world, bro. I swear, even if you're ugly, it's so fucking attractive. Because, like, you will be, you. I met beautiful women. I've talked to beautiful women a lot, bro. And... Their aura doesn't speak for themselves. They don't feel... You can't sense the confidence. More times than not, they're like, oh, does my makeup look good? Does this, that, and the third? It throws me off. I, I like when a girl knows that she's that bitch. When a girl knows and she walks like a, a queen, you will kind of sense it. You're like, damn. Like, she don't give a fuck about nothing that's going on. She don't care about anything else in this world. She's confident of herself. If someone were to call her ugly, she will look you up and down just like you're retarded. And she won't even say a word. She'll just walk by. She doesn't even... That girl is the type to not even, like, occupy a fucking peasant. She will look at you like you're a slave. Keep it moving. And that shit is so fucking sexy. I'm gonna leave that clip of Robert Green explaining that. I've only met, like, two girls like that in my lifetime. It's rare. But when you meet those type of women, they are definitely different than the regular, you know, girl. Like, like I said, she could be a 10 out of 10, but she, if she don't move like a 10 out of 10, she don't move like she's a bad bitch. It's like, it kind of throws it off. You feel me? Like, it's like, eh, you all right. You know, you still normal. But it's like the people that, like, women see me, I don't, I am not as normal. Like, they don't see me as normal, bro. They don't see me as a regular peasant. I refuse to be one. I am a king, so you will treat me as one. That's it. That's how I move. So when you see a woman who's a queen, it's just like, fuck. Like, it's just attractive. Your eyes go to that person. And the person I'm even, like, thinking of, they're not 10 out of 10s. They are literally, let's say, a 7. A 7 and a half, like, pushing it in the face. But the way that they move, it brings them to a 9, like. Damn, like, she know who she is. Like, she's a bad bitch. Like, you won't find those people. I swear, it's rare. So, 
it's like an illusion that you build that like, yes, my aura, I am a king. I am a king. No one else, you see me as a king. I am something that you want to acquire. I did this naturally. And then when I read this book, I'm like, two and two goes together and it makes perfect sense, right? The illusion that you are desired by others will make you more attractive to your victims than your beautiful face or your perfect body. It's a bonus that you have a good face because other women are just going to be onto that anyways. If you take care of yourself, you don't have to be the most handsome man in the world nobody gives a fuck about that but when you are it's definitely a boost of course it is it doesn't matter or your perfect body my body is not perfect but it's going to be perfect i'm perfecting it i'm working on it every day my diet but this is a mere example that like i told you she's a seven seven and a half she's not the most beautiful drop dead you're fucking like damn who's that but her aura and her how she moves you will be that that will make you say damn who's that like in a different way of saying, like, damn, that girl's bad. Like, she's beautiful. But this one is fucking different. Different. You don't even know, bro. It's different. So even if you're, like, mid or you're ugly and you don't want to work on yourself, you can still implement this game and this knowledge to yourself. And you can get whatever the fuck you want in this world. Whatever. Women. I'm telling you, women are, like... Women, to me, are, like, a trophy for my hard work. I earned that shit. Like, it's, like... Yeah, I'm in the lab. I'm in the gym, really putting in this work. I'm really on my YouTube shit all day working. I'm really like, I'm really doing everything I'm supposed to do. I wake up before anyone. I go, I, you know, I meditate. I eat so healthy. I do so much more things better than a lot of people. So it's like, yeah, she noticed that. Yeah, she's coming with me. It's easy. It's like, it's like a reward for what you get for your hard work. It will always be like that. It's like when you really get that money. Yeah, I put in all of this work. The women are going to come. It's like a reward. Like, yeah, just come here. Like, you feel me? So, like, a lot of people don't really understand that. But now, you know, this video might be a little bit longer, bro. But this game is, this is knowledge is something that you don't want. Like, you shouldn't, you know, you feel me? You shouldn't skip over this shit, bro. And, like, uh, let me break it down, too, of, like, the men part, right? You will get more respect from guys when you walk with your head ho high and your shoulders back. You are seen as somebody that's greater. So, people... Like I said, everyone around, don't nobody, don't nobody know this knowledge. Don't nobody even pick up a book. So you're going to be ahead of them by default. You eat healthy. You're ahead of them by default. You're in the gym. You're ahead of 80%, 90% of people by default. Nobody hits the gym. So all of this shit will build you up. You're seeing progress in the gym. You're you're seeing yourself take care of yourself. You're seeing your skin glow. You're seeing them haircuts, bro. You're seeing everything that like you work for come to life. It will bring It will bring you this sort of confidence that... It's, you can't beat it. You can't, like, it's like, I've earned this motherfucker. You can't take, you can't take this away from me. And a lot of people won't understand that, but it is what it is, right? So let me, let me talk about it, right? So in order to be an object of desire, there's things that you have to do or look like, like I said, you have to earn the confidence, right? So the confidence part's already down. Uh, walk with your head how high and your shoulders back. Number one thing ever. Every video, damn near every video, I say walk with your head how high and your uh shoulders back because you are not a slave. You're a king, right? So, like I said, I always carry myself like a king. So a king, he dresses nice. Don't get the game twisted. Don't, did, bro, a lot of people try to skip over this dressing part, right? Right? Because it's like, oh, it's materialistic, man. You, bro, this shit cost me like eight bucks. But it's the way I put this motherfucker on. I'm in, I'm in shape. I look good. I got my Nike pants about like twenty pan, uh twenty dollars, twenty five dollars, and my J's. These were like I got them for like two hundred. I and my chain, whatever the fuck, bro. I am higher. I'm confident. Dress nice. This is a smooth. This is a calm outfit to the gym. I'm going on some calm shit. So when I really pop the fuck out to like a party or let's say to um. Like, like, you know, a wedding or some shit. Now I'm suited up and I'm booted up, bro. Everyone's going, they all going to tweak on me because I am th that guy. And you can't break it. You can't break this. So your appearance, this outer part of like your, who you are in your soul, your soul matters the most. But make your outer self look good too. There's nothing wrong with that, right? This video is going to help you get more women way easier. So basically dress nice. You know, you don't got to spend thousands of dollars for each outfit you will see people with palm angels and all the designers they got the balenciagas this that, and the third but they look homeless wearing this shit why because a lot of these people are fat and out of shape they think oh i got this shit on no you're fat bro i'm sorry it's not gonna work on you it's not gonna look as good as it would on me because i'm in shape 
get in shape and you will look way better. You'll take care, take care of yourself and you'll look way better. The people with all the designer shit I remember seeing in the streets in the city, bro, they'll be dripped down to, in designer. Balenciaga, uh, Balenciaga shoes, Palm Angel shirt, off-white pants, whatever. They still look ugly as shit. They're still in the parties with no hoes, nothing. But when I come through with my tank top, my J's, and my regular shit, my snapback backwards, why do the bitches geek on me? Because I'm in shape. I take care of myself. I look better than most guys. Everyone cares. Everyone eats at McDonald's. Everyone eats that bullshit. Take care of yourself, and you will win. You don't need to spend thousands of dollars on outfits. No, you don't. That's the truth. You don't. You just got to make the outfit look good. You make it pop. A king also, right? A king... You'll never see a king on no bummy shit. You will never see a king on no bummy shit. Never. You won't see him wearing all of this regular shit. Like me, this is a regular ass calm fit. But I make it pop way more in my confidence and my aura speaks for itself. But the king wears like the best of the best shit. Nice clothes that fit him, look good, suited and booted. A king is a king. And the same thing for the pimp game. The pimp game, you want to know about women, I'm going to drop some game for y'all. The ism. I'm going to make that separate video of why you got to be better than the bitch to attract way more bitches, bro. I'm going to break that down, too. They're, they're like, perfected in their own eyes, right? So a pimp will come out with, like, a red suit or something like that. Something so, maybe a sparkly red suit with a top hat, diamond uh diamonds on their neck and, you know, earrings. And they got, like, you know, all of the, the rings and shit. They're looking, um, bro, they're dripped out, bro. They look really nice. Pimps really take care of themselves, bro. You will never see a pimp on some nut shit. You'll see them with their hair slicked back on some straight hair when they have coarse hair. They want to be better than a girl and they'll attract more girls. It's like when you're better than a woman, you have to be better than a girl. Like there's no way you can't be better than a girl. Even the most beautiful of women, most of them don't really do anything in their day and age. So when you're really grinding, really working, it's like, yeah, like by default, you are better than them, right? No, because the appearance is just like the shit that once you're able to break past the appearance, you you see them for your, their morals and who they are and what they do in their days. You'll be like, yeah, bro, oh, you can't compete with a woman. You got to compete with the greater, the greatest of men. So by default, you're better than them, no matter how you look, even if you're an ugly guy. But pimps break down the game. They're better than the most women. They got the 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 fucking rings, watches, this, that, and the third. They dripped out. They're nice. They, you won't see a pimp on no bum shit. Because even when they go to the corner store, I'm not saying you got to gas it to this extent, but even if I go to the corner store, I'm not, I'm going to put on some of my J, like not like it, like they could be like one of my beaters, but I'm not going outside looking homeless. I'm not, that's not who I am. I won't, you won't see the king outside homeless. So you're not seeing me outside homeless. You feel me? That, like a lot of people break it down. You know, you'll see a lot of women on some bummy shit. Like the girls around me, you're not about to be on no bummy shit. No, because it's bad for business. Like, it's just not good. It's not a good look anyways. You know what I'm saying? So if you go into the corner store, just throw on some shoes, some J's that you got on, whatever you rock that makes you feel nice. Even if a tank top, I make the tank tops look good because I got some muscle on me. I'll, you know, I'll just throw on some regular sweats or, or some jeans and walk to the corner store wherever I go. If I'm just running some light errands, because even then you won't know who you're going to meet. You could go to the store. It'll be the baddest bitch that you ever seen in there. And you got you dressed like a fucking bum is going to bring down your aura. When you dressed up nice, you get a nice haircut. You know, you, you know what I'm saying? When you get a, a good haircut and shit. That aura speaks, that confidence, that level of when you walk out of the barbershop, you're like, damn, I'll take everybody, bitch. Bro, of course you're going to feel that way when you dress nice. So you don't know who you're going to be. Uh, you you never know who you're going to see or meet. When you go to the corner store, right? And a pimp, a pimp, a pimp. Like, if you put this shit in your brain, bro, this type of knowledge, bro. If you go to the corner store, a, pump, a, a pimp will always be dressed out. They don't know where they're going to meet this woman at, but they're ready at all times. Their job is to get women, so they're going to do what they got to do to get women. You feel what I'm saying? And you ain't got to get it to this extent, but this type of game is good for your knowledge. They ain't going to the corner store looking all bummy. They don't know who they're going to be. It could be the baddest bitch in that corner store. So when they walk in that corner store and they got the, the dripped out, they, they dripped out, they got their suits and all that, they got their rings and all that, bro, they're going to spit some game and they're going to feel way more confident about themselves because, yeah, I got that shit on. I look good. I take care of myself. Yeah, I'm him. So that confidence is going to speak. Even if you ain't got to say nothing, even if you don't kick up, she's going to geek on your shit. It's, it's it's simple it's it's psychology bro it's just normal human being shit right so the dressing nice part is always a big thing always don't skip over i don't want to hear 
Oh, uh, dress like the regular guy. Fuck the regular guy. I don't want to be like the regular guy. I want to be like the king. So he dresses nicely. He takes care of himself. He presents himself nicely, right? This could mean go getting your hair cut. This means eating a good diet, getting a good body. This, that, this is, that's what it means, bro. Get in shape and all clothes will basically look good on you. That That's a fact. And lastly, it's the confidence part. This is the biggest thing that I have to repeat again, because this will separate you from every guy in this world walk with your head held high and your shoulders back and your chest up that alone will separate you from any guy in this world everyone walks like this you know you got the nerd neck computer game and virgins like how i used to be i used to be like you know like a nerd neck no not me i walk when you, when i walk in the cut you you see me their mannerism how you present yourself the clothes that you wear the way that you talk the way that you act it all matters. Take care of yourself. Be, see yourself as higher, higher. Move highly and you'll get everything that you want. You'll get the money. You'll get the women. All of that. And I'm going to make... Excuse me. And I'm going to make a separate video of, of letting everything flow, bro. Because especially when you see yourself as higher, you only want the best of the best. So when average women come your way, maybe you'll take some of them like, you know, with, the, with you along the way or whatever. But for the most part, you want the baddest bitches, right? So attract nothing but the baddest bitches. That's it. I'm not settling. You say I'm not settling for less and you don't settle for less. If I expect women to do these certain things, yada, 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 I want her to cook and clean and you don't make her cook or clean or she doesn't want to do it, fuck up out of here. That's it. It, it. You are higher. You are the guy. The ball is in your hands at all times. You hit the jab step, hit that, let that bitch fly from the three, bro. Don't let them try to control you. It's none of that, right? So... This is how to get that movie star energy. It will give you, retention will give you that movie star energy that you need, bro. So, um, yeah, bro, I'm going to leave my last video right here for you guys, bro. This is some knowledge, bro. Let me know if you made it to the end of the video in the comment section, right? And uh, please make sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe, bro. And click that little bell notification so that every time I post, you get notified, bro. So, stay yourself. Stay 300. Whatever you do in life. Trust me, I believe you, bro.